name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2019. I'm sitting down with Marcello Bertucci from XV Games, yep. and you've brought us a familiar designer, yep. Rainer Canizia. <laughs> maybe, maybe done one or two other games, uh, but this is a, a, an unusual size box for him. I yes, can't indeed. recall he's done a game this small, like which a, is charter. It is a usual mm -hmm. uh, kind of game of Knizia. It's very abstract kind of game, but a uh, very deep strategic game. Well, anything that's got Knizia's name on it usually is going to pique a lot of interest. So yep. take us through on a tour yeah, of sure. what we're so trying to accomplish. This is a very small game because it's only made of nine tiles. And those nine tiles have illustration of uh, old cartography divided into sea and to and into land. Hmm. And one player is going to play as land, and the other player is going to play as the sea. And uh, players during their turn will only have to choose between two actions. First action is to uh, rotate clockwise one of the tiles in play, like this, okay. only clockwise. And the other action is to take the first tile of the deck. Then they can see the next one. And they okay. can place it wherever they want, attach to the map, rotate it as they want. There are no limitations to the For placing. To the placing. Let's, let's say I do like this, then it's your turn and you can rotate this one or rotate this one. So or take I don't know one. what I'm doing yet, but I'll say I rotate. Uh, only clockwise. <laughs> only clockwise, I will rotate. <laughs> and it's my turn. If I want to rotate again, it's two rotation in a row. And when two rotation in a row happens, the next move must be a placement. Okay. So I say I rotate this one, then you have to place. I, so then I would have to come over here and we'll say there. Yeah, and then we go on like this. And when a side reaches three, the size of three tiles, you can no longer increase it. So you cannot any more place here or here. So it's going so to be the a end, it's going to be a three, three by, by three, three. square. Yep. So, uh, we are going to have a three by three square. Somewhere. Right, so let's build a three by three really yeah. quickly so we can just see what it looks like. And when the la last tile is placed, uh, when the last tile is placed, um, the game is over immediately. And uh, whoever connected the most tiles with their element, for example, C in this case is connecting one, two, and three. Okay. Or yeah, land big, is biggest group. And land is connecting one, three. two, and three. Or one, two, one, two, one, two. It's three, it's tied. In this case, who placed the last tile loses. So if this was the case, though, if this was the case, it's see if I can. I can <laughs> yeah, sure. There we go. Okay, so that was our, the case. If this is the case. We have still three for C as the biggest group, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six for land. So in this case, land will, will win six to three. And uh, these are all the rules of the game. It's uh, like uh, one minute to learn, but uh, there are a lot of quite deep choices because you have not only to place the tiles but to consider rotations and every rotation can change completely the, the, the map in play. Yeah. So it's actually only nine tiles but a pretty heavy nine and, tiles game. And, and you said two player only. And only two players, yeah, yes. of course. Well, if you guys want to check out, I mean, that's literally everything you need to know to play Charter. Yeah, Ch Charter. Which is being published by XV Games. Yes. And Marcella, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>